Hello everybody and welcome to the first inaugural episode of My Amazing Podcast. It's not just My Amazing Podcast though, because I'm say... joined by the amazing and wonderful Mango slash Ash. Hi! And that is Spit slash Tom, in case you didn't know. Welcome! Wow, I can't believe you'd stab me like that. Jeez. What do you mean? Slash, get it? It's Halloween. Come oh, on, it's a good joke. God. It's a good joke. <laughs> Do you want another one? No, <laughs> want... I know. <laughs> okay, get ready for this. Okay. What's it like to be kissed by a vampire? Uh, spiky. It's a pain in the neck. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, no. Uh. no, 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 no. Mm. Oh, wow, what so an intro. That's, Hello, that's what welcome. it's like to live with us. Um, Welcome to the Weekly Domestic. I am Ash and this is Tom and we talk about our relationship and judge yours. Welcome and hello. Welcome. It's the first episode of a podcast which means we don't know what we're doing, you don't know what we're doing and the end result will probably be, hopefully, quite entertaining. Um, and we're here together for this wonderful journey. So, I thought you, know, you were going to say... A cup of tea. I thought you were going to say... We don't know what we're doing. You don't know what we're doing. The editors don't know what we're doing. <laughs> oh, God. The editors <laughs> know the least of all. The editors <laughs> probably know less than us and also you watching it because you're watching a finished, edited version, which is probably nicer and yeah. has probably less really bad jokes in it, I'm going to guess. It's got all the bells and whistles. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I haven't got a bell to ding, I'm afraid. There's no bells over here. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, wow, you found a bell. Gosh, yeah. that's amazing. Wow. Yeah. So who are you and why do people <laughs> need to care about you? It's important you? we settle this. Who are you? Ash, Hi. what are you doing I, in my house? I don't know. <laughs> How'd um, you get in here? I I wiggled my way in over many years and it started It was a all, lot of wiggling. It started, wow, really? <laughs> You're going there? Um... It all started when I stole something from your house and then ran away with it. Um, I am true. Ash Mango, and I used to be a streamer, and uh, I was a, I am a Yogscast member, technically, but um, I play video games and have fun, but I'm taking a hiatus, so I guess for now, I am podcaster and fiancé of this Bithming Brit, otherwise known Tom. Who are you? I like how you're having a hiatus from having fun to instead <laughs> do a full-time job of, you know, being my fiancé, which of course isn't fun. It's not fun. It's a chore. The amount of teas you have to make every Honestly. day. Oh, God. Oh, so I didn't realise I was that bad. Who are you? Uh, who am I? I'm Tom, also known online as Spiff. Now, of course, there's two different people. There's Spiff, who's, oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. And then there's so. me. There's a lot of um, similarities. We both drink metric tons of tea. Uh, we're yeah. both exceedingly British as well. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, I have a corgi. That's pretty much all you need to get a British party these days it's fantastic um but yes i am a youtuber in my full time and this is my spare time where i'm a podcaster uh, i have a channel with you know a few million subscribers oh, you might have really? heard of it it's called the spiffing brit you've <laughs> you already might, said it like it. five times I think yeah well i gotta know. plug it we're struggling you know it's a plug hard it. times hard plug times it. have befallen we're only getting hundreds of thousands of views Jeez. follow m4ng0 on twitch twitch Slash M4, M4. Well, I don't even know how I mean, to do by that the, anymore. By the time someone's listening to this in four years' time, you might start streaming again. You never True. know. True. It could be relevant. I think <laughs> I'll only be away a year, minimum, Who maximum. Knows? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, we both love video games. We play a ton of them. Like, even when we're not recording or streaming. What is your favorite game at the moment, would you say? CSGO! See, no, um, I love CSGO. <laughs> it is my favorite game, and I'm very in the spirits because guess what? On the next episode, already plugging it, already plugging it, I'm a winner. It's on not the even next out episode, yet because we haven't even recorded it. Yeah, on the next episode, we are going to Sweden to watch CSGO, so I'm hyped for that. But in terms of like games I've played recently, I really have been away from my PC 
since I started taking my hiatus, I haven't done a lot. But in terms of non-video games... did play CSGO. Yeah, I do like CSGO. But hmm, there's something about it. It pulls me back, though. But I'd say, like, recently, recently, like, I really did enjoy Back for Blood the Beta. I hated it. I absolutely Why? hated it. Why? Yeah. Admittedly, I didn't play it with any people other than publics, uh, like pubbies, and that was just suffering. Playing it with the bots was like, you know, panel beating your head. It was just not fun. Well, it maybe you so should get horrible. some friends, you know? Yeah, well, I don't have any other than you, and you're, you know, kind of like contractually obliged to be my friend, I think, at this point. That's what engagement means, right? Sure. Sure. Yeah. So what have you been playing then? What did you find fun recently? I guess I've been playing a bit of a game called Heroes Isle, which is like Heroes of Might Magic 3. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. That. Say that again. Heroes of <laughs> Heroes Hour, which is like Heroes of Might and Magic 3, which is an old classic game that people probably listening to this might not have been alive when it was released. Who knows? There's a chance you weren't. It's an absolutely wonderful game. I strongly what, recommend what you play. What is it? It's a, it's a strategy game. It's boring. Ew. Uh, why would you do this? I'm Ew. sorry. Ew. I'm... Ew. But talking of games, I mm. have an addiction. Because I haven't been playing video games. I have sucked you into the world of yeah. Magic the Gathering, which is what this episode's about, technically. I guess, yeah, because the focus of the podcast is that not only are we talking about our amazing relationship and judging yours as well in the glorious weekly domestic format, we are <laughs> also trying something new each week. And the thing we've been trying over the last few weeks, which is brand new, is Cardboard Crack, a big nerd game, Magic the Gathering. It's amazing. We're huge nerds now. Huge. I know. Huge. Like, Couldn't get any Jeez. The amount of like books I've been purchasing as of late. Like I bought a book last week. Isn't that a sign of us becoming more nerdy? The fact that uh, we've been playing magic and bought a book. You bought four books. That I'm makes you an even bigger nerd. I'm not going to lie. Other than what I do, I literally did go to university for screenwriting. So you would think I would read more books. Yeah, I know, yeah. So I'm just I'm just making up for the time lost and the brain cells lost playing video games every single day, you know? I mean, I do lose a lot of brain cells playing video games. Um, I will probably be smooth-brained by the time this podcast episode releases, but that's fine <laughs> because I gain brain creases by playing Magic the Gathering because I feel like a strategic mastermind. It's fantastic. Right, should we explain? So what got us into this was, I did a tweet, was like, I want to get into cardboard crack, basically. Uh, and I <laughs> you was said like, you Tell wanted me. to do crack. No! <laughs> cardboard version, mm. non, non-illegal. Uh, legal. It's legal. <laughs> it's healthier for your body, but not for your bank account. Correct. So I wanted to collect these little cards like I did when I was a little girl because I used to collect Pokemon cards but I never played didn't know how to play didn't live in a place that I don't even think I could have played um so I thought you know let's do this when I can play let's learn something new let's go outside like I've had enough of being stuck inside for like two years please let me out so I went to Twitter and people kept saying magic the gathering magic the gathering and I was like hmm magic the gathering and then we got invited to go out with some real life friends. How beautiful. I know. Real world friends known as Kiwo. She's a lovely, lovely streamer. She invited us to go play magic with her. And oh I mean, God. you two were having a big nerd out because both of you don't like being nerds, but both of you are big old nerds. You both like magic. Uh, but at the same time, you're also both kind of goths and emos at the same time. There's a little bit of contention. You don't normally well, mix the two. I'm a new goth, okay? Like, I've been there before. And oh, I'm you've goffed back before? Around. You're yeah. coming. <laughs> I'm going for a two time. Um, a two time goffing. I can't say I've ever goffed myself, but maybe one day I, I will try this goffing. I wouldn't say it's goth. Actually, I'd say what I am now is. Like, I hate the fact I'm about to say this. Mm -hmm. Say it. <laughs> it's say a it. mix between emo and e-girl. And oh, God. 
Don't you dare say the term oh. e-girl in this household. Oh Jeez. my god. But I like it. Like it's a Jeez. aesthetic and If I dressed up as an e-boy, you'd kick me out the house. I like, would not. I would be you in would. love Have with Have you it. seen what e-boys look like? No, but I would they, love you anyway. Oh my goodness. I mean, I never use the term cringe as the kids would say, Ew. but it if I were to look at a, a if you Google e boy, it Let me is Google it. cringe. Google e boy. Look at them. Let look me, at those boys. Look at the boys. These boys, you know, they're probably big on TikTok, <laughs> you name it. But I like yeah. TikTok, though. You can like TikTok, but not oh. like everything on TikTok. Yeah, I know. I can see your face grimacing. <laughs> I'm not grimacing. It's just like. You are grimacing. Your lips are curling up at the side. It's just a bit, a bit posy. It is a bit it? posy. If you're an e-boy and you're listening to this, I'm sorry. Good Pose for you. Pose more. Do it. Do you, you know? You do you. But Whatever makes you happy. You only right. live once, you but search. I will judge judge you. Can you search e-girl, please? I don't I want, want to search e-girl. Think. I'm going to get some very old search recommendations goth if I start. e-girl. Do it, do it. Or, goth or emo e-girl. e-girl. It's more emo e-girl. In my goth opinion. e-girl. Oh, my God. I think I've seen some of these on Twitch just chatting. Not me. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's certainly an art style. I don't um, think I'm that heavy in, but I'll get there. I don't think you've reached the stage where you're deliberately rosying up your cheeks and drawing love hearts. I have. Hearts I literally, them. minus the love hearts. Some of these are. Uh, one of them, there's just someone not wearing clothes. I think I'm gonna. I'm uh, not gonna close that down. Yeah, I've had enough of that. Sure, Thank you. That, that, why are they? Um, there's so many <sighs> questions. Just so many questions, but so little time to but answer. But anyway, them. Kiwo, <laughs> getting back Kiwo, on track. Kiwo, <laughs> back back on track to Kiwo, our Kiwo, lovely friend. She uh, wanted us to play wanted magic. Wanted us to play Magic the Gathering, and so I said. So a reply to the first tweet when I said I wanted Magic the Gathering cards was. You're such a nerd. I'm going to steal your lunch money. And then yeah, she from tweeted. Kiwo. Yeah, from Kiwo. And she tweeted, I've got myself a Magic the Gathering pack. And I'm like, you are the nerd and I'm joining you. I'm going to go out right now and get a pack. I don't care what it is. I'll get a, a, a random pack I'll of get Magic a, I'll get Gathering. I'll get a random deck. Just put my hands on a random deck any, and let's go. Any random deck to, any to get deck to will Kiwo. Do. So we got a starter deck, uh, and in fact, we ended up getting two of those because I watched you play, and I was like, you know what, this looks fun. I want to give it a go myself. So we both got ourselves a starter deck, and then next thing we know, we love magic so much, we go home, and you're like, hey, hey, Tom, can we, can we play magic in bed? It's and true. We had magic in the sheets. Well, actually, it was on top of the sheets. Uh, we laid out the cards. Yeah, we did. Uh, and we, we whipped played. out our decks. It was the first time I'd ever seen your deck, actually. It was True. It was impressive. A bit intimidating. I didn't know you fact. had two, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, you didn't know I had two decks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like dual, yeah. dual wielding them. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, it's actually a really fun hobby that we've now picked up. And I love it. I oh absolutely my God. do. Like we are so far in it's not even it's not even funny like so it's like it started as a weak hobby like that we try and now we know all of the staff of the place we go to by name we're really like, friendly with them it's amazing genuinely oh my God. they were like so because you're what was it they called us the other day you because you're regulars and we regulars, trust you we trust you <laughs> and i was like i'm glad you trust us but like regulars what's happened to me why am i, I mean here i all wonder the time? if it has something to do with the fact that we spent 250 pounds on a whole bunch of shiny cards yeah well <laughs> we'll get to that anyway going back to the beginning i was very excited to learn so we went to our local board game cafe and um it was super fun super cool some people there already had like spare magic decks and let us play with them which was the most cool thing ever and let me tell you i won my first game within four moves it was it insane. was amazing it's 
very impressive. I loved the amount of people. I've never I've never played with someone else's deck before. But then again, I'd never played with a deck before, but they're Can so we welcoming there. Drop there. the deck I, joke. I, like, I don't want to drop the deck joke. Use. It's so good. It's, it's so done. good. It's done. We've done it's it. It's done. Okay, fine. No more deck jokes. No. No more deck jokes. No. I want to make another deck joke, but I won't. That's fine. But yeah, yeah, we've had such a fun time getting to learn the game with all these weird, interesting people that are so passionate about it it is a really 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 fun hobby that we picked up for fun just to try something new like push our relationship and do new things because that's what this podcast yeah. is about it's about us enjoying our relationship talking about it and also expensing all of our fun stuff that we do in our free time <laughs> no that's not true i'm going but, on holiday to sweden oh stop it that is not why we're doing the podcast it is not another exploit or is it is it enough? Uh, no is knows. everything in our lives just an exploit deep Except down? Except you and me and Georgie, everything. Yeah, we're else. the only stability. Yeah, that's it. Wow. But um, that's what it's like living with you. Um, but no, that's not why we're doing it. The reason we started, you know, we'll we'll finish off the magic stuff and then Actually, we can get into. I do want to say something though. You say that's what it's like living with me. I want to quickly visualize something and explain okay. what it's like living with you because Why? it is actually lovely it is lovely oh. so a couple nights back uh mango was having a bit of an off day what ash was it was you know it'd been a long day we'd been really busy she was really tired and she just wanted to relax and i was like you know what you go do that so she went and she was just doing her makeup for like three hours long trying out new looks and i'm just sat on the couch the fire's on georgie's lying on my lap mango's like singing along to music having a grand old time there's effectively a full-blown karaoke going on in the lounge and i'm just sat there with a sleeping corgi reading a book drinking a cup of tea it was heaven like oh my god i loved it it was just absolutely fantastic Thank living you. with you is it's it's beautiful it's crazy at times but but it's always beautiful. Well, I mean, the I mean, singing is, is fantastic. Who doesn't love you. a good bit of singing? Thank you. I was literally... I had my headphones in. I do not know how loud I was, but I literally... You were very loud. Look. Very loud. I know that one of the things that I was, like, um, singing... Let me just get it, because I already forgot. I tweeted you, about You it. sang You Spin Me Right Round. I Wasn't did, it? but no, no. The one that I really went in on was Take On Me by Anna. Oh my god, it was Take On Me. Yes. Oh wow, you were really belting that one out. <laughs> and oh. I was doing my makeup. For those who like don't know, probably no one knows. Um <laughs> I dyed my hair purple on a whim. <laughs> for um, fun, as you do. For fun. So that's why I was doing my makeup, because I was like feeling a bit like when you have like a big change like that, you're like, oh shit. What did I do? You're like, all of the things I know about my makeup and my face are all different now. I look more tanned. What do I do? I'm used to being pasty pale. Please help. So uh, that's what I was doing. I was having I'm a sure, great time. I'm sure all of the listeners are very well versed in trying makeup and dyeing their hair. If you haven't given it a go, give it a go. Makeup's great fun. Even I support makeup. I think it's fantastic. You only live once. That's all you I can know. <laughs> That's true. We're not you only live YOLO. Once. We're not saying YOLO, but it's true. Like you do have to live your life. Like yeah. if that means dyeing your hair and putting on some makeup and doing your nails, you know, do what you want. As long as it's not hurting anyone else and it makes you happy, you know? You never know what the future holds. You've got to make the most of, of living your life. You've got to try new things. You've got to be open to stuff. Of course, not too open. You've got to keep it safe. You don't want to hurt others, make them upset. But you should always do what makes you happy and chase yeah. after that inner happiness and go go buy a corgi if you're struggling. Buy go a corgi. get your dreams. Go, go get your dreams, your and your dream should be a corgi. No, if not, go not check if, yourself. Stop it! Not everybody needs a corgi. Like Georgie is a special corgi. Look, think about how much louder the world would be if everyone had a corgi. It would They're be great. So difficult animals. Like <laughs> dogs are so much work. At least if they you are. love them as much as we love her. Like we have a little corgi called Georgie, and uh, she's a girl. And she is so loud and mischievous. She was the most mischievous of the bunch, and we decided to get that she one. She loved us. She absolutely loved us. It had to be her. <laughs> she was the one who just gravitated to me and wouldn't leave me alone. And she screamed at it's, me. It's a bit like you, to be honest. Yeah, 
yeah, <laughs> I guess that's true. I guess that is true. Um, and look where look where it got us. Yeah, right six years here. of happiness. Yeah, talking of. It's, it's our Halloween. anniversary. It's Halloween. Happy it's Halloween. Halloween. I mean, of course, Halloween. this episode's probably not going out on Halloween because that no. would be completely impossible. Happy belated However, Halloween. Is that? Happy belated Halloween. Yeah. Spooky, spooky. Yeah, it's our anniversary. We've been together for six years, six years which is a ridiculously long time. Mm-hmm. And we've been engaged for three and we've known each other for time. even more than that. For many years more than that, but yeah. Maybe ten. Ten years. Have I known, known each other. I've known you for ten years. Ten years. Oh, God. <laughs> I know. Jeez. Ten years ago was an absolutely that different means time. I have been with you for a higher percent than I've known you. That's Isn't true. Isn't that creepy? That yeah. is creepy. Wow. Yeah. That's like in less than 50% of the time you knew me, you were like, okay, I'm going to be with this person. Yeah. That's crazy. It is. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, I love you and you're awesome. Oh, And to I live with you, you is also brilliant, you know? It's not just me and the singing and the corgi, you know? You, I literally can't live without you because wow. you cook all of my food. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You would starve. <laughs> You would starve quite quickly. And that is the only reason I... No, you it's not. You also <laughs> hardly drink liquid. I have to force you to drink liquid normally. Yeah, and take my medication. You're, you're that's honestly, true. Like, I would just pass out without you. No, that's not why you're great. Um, <laughs> you're great because you I'm a great me medicine reminder. That's yeah. all I am. Yeah. I'm a walking, like, time clock. You are, yeah. But... I'm you make me laugh, and you keep me together, and I think we just make each other better. So We do. Yeah. It is a bit of an odd relationship, because a lot odd. of people... Well, it's not odd, but as in... You know how a lot of relationships are two people who are effectively identical? Like, the stereotype would be two human beings who embody, like, a golden retriever. They're just, like, so happy all the time. I mean, I don't trust those people because I think there's something going on behind the scenes. But they're, like, your stereotypical couple of, you know, two lovey-dovey individuals that are golden mm. retrievers. Mm. Whereas we're kind of quite opposite. And we are literal been opposites. For a long while. Yeah, we are. Yeah. We're slightly closer now than we were when we started, but that's more, yeah. it's less that we've changed ourselves and it's more we've just like built bridges to new locations together in certain regards, yeah. opinions and enjoyments. Yeah, like of course. Magic, for example. Yeah. Neither of us would have done magic when we started this relationship. No God, imagine way. if on like our first date, I was like, hey, do you want to go play magic? I literally made fun of you when I met you because you played Warhammer. And now I paint I your Warhammer and we play magic together. That That is where we've gone. Oh my God, we've gone full circle. <laughs> oh damn, what have I done? Hey, do you want to go play Warhammer this weekend? No, I don't. Look, <laughs> that's too far for me. Yeah, you know, that mm -hmm. LARPing. You know, other people can enjoy them, but for me, that's too far. Like that's, there's something about it. We'll get you in it next year. Don't you worry. You'll no. love it. Well, maybe You'll we'll have it. to try it if the, that's what the people want. But not I mean, yet, there's a please. Warhammer deck coming to like Magic, so I reckon that might be the thing that gets you into it. You never know. No. You never know. No. Look, no. I'm not interested. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I will make you interested. I already paint all your figures that are yet to be completed. That are yet to be <laughs> completely painted, aren't they? Hmm. Hmm. Mm, someone's been slacking on their painting duties, Paint Gremlin. Paint Gremlin started two years ago. Still hasn't finished <laughs> one lot of town. Oops. Oh my god, it is it is true though. It like some people paint at an incredible rate. We don't. We we are quite slow. When to be we do honest, things. to be honest, what do you mean we? We are quite slow. You've when we never have grand projects, I, I have no. I painted one. I and painted I one on Jingle it, Jam, uh, and you, you took it away because of what I did to it. You literally nearly ruined my model. I. Was, you told me I ruined it. Everyone told me I ruined it. Even Lewis Brindley of the Yogscast told me I ruined it. I literally was making a <laughs> replica of you, as in the spiffing Brit, with a whole free-handed painted like Union Jack cape on the back and you went in fucking splodged everything around <laughs> you oh, splodged on it 
I splodged on it. Wow, I can't believe I splodged on it. Jeez, what a lovely term there, splodged. You don't get to hear that very often. Let me quickly Google that. that. No, the splodged, no, don't. Splodged. Don't. Splodged does have a... It's an actual word. Splodge. In your face. A large blob or smear of something. Um, yeah. A splodge of strawberry jam. Her a coat splodge. was splodged with paint. Yeah, you splodged it. You splodged you spl- my model. You splodged it right up. Wow. Ruined it. Oh, that's incredible. So I had to step in and fix it, and then you got kicked out of the painting room. Sorry. <laughs> I did, yeah. I got banished. That was one of your first times on stream, actually. It was, and it was before I was even a streamer. But yeah. back to magic because I'm addicted. So, um, so <laughs> if you don't know, Magic the Gathering, generally a massive money sink, if you want to open booster packs, which we were like, oh no, we won't do that. Like, we'll choose all the cards. What do you mean, oh no, we won't do that? It was going to happen. You love gambling. You love it. You've opened so many CSGO cases. I've opened so many CSGO cases. It was going to happen. I went in with the belief it would not happen. And I was (laughs) like, you went in with a lie. I did. (laughs) And, uh, what happened was I saw this shiny pack. Now, I'm a bit like a magpie. Mm. You I've are a magpie. You are the embodiment of a magpie. You salute magpies because of superstitions that are generally taught to six-year-olds. I still do it. It's important. You still do it. Do you know why that superstition started? I don't when care why it started. I do it because it's my to great keep grandma you- did it. It's to keep you looking out the window so you stop harassing the driver. It is not true. <laughs> It's true because even true. when we're even when we're driving now, you're out looking for magpies whilst we're driving. Look, I can't <laughs> miss one, and if I do, I'll be cursed. It's just you'll be cursed, will you? I'm not superstitious. Only the magpies. That's it. Only the magpies. Yeah, I mean, I'd but rather you be superstitious thing. for magpies than other things. It's quite it's quite harmless. It's a, it's a family thing, but um, it is. I saw the shiny magic deck and I was like, ooh, they're shiny cards. I can put it in my nest of other shiny things. Yeah, and I was like, hmm, we don't own any shiny cards. But these <laughs> cards that seem to be £25, that seems silly. Oh, interesting. There's a whole unopened box next to it. Now, in the box, oh, there seems to be more packs than if we were to buy them one by one. In fact, you get two free packs, mm. technically, if mm. you bought the box instead of get them individually. So, twenty-five it's 12 pounds. It's twelve packs in a box, and which would should cost three hundred quid, but instead was two hundred and fifty pounds. So two hundred and fifty pounds for a bunch of packs, which, if you wanted the non-special shiny version, would be about four to ten pounds a pack. So naturally, we ended up business expensing two hundred and fifty pounds worth of magic cards. Look, it was worth it. I loved every moment, every one of those draws. <laughs> we did a draw each for so many days, and it made me so happy. And I got a little app to scan my cards to tell me what, how cute. much they were worth. And it, wasn't it was really kind of like the Christmas. Worth. It was it like was. Christmas. Christmas every day. Like, do you remember Christmas when you run down, open your advent calendar, you pull out a chocolate? Imagine that, except you run downstairs, whip out a plastic packet, and then draw oh like God. 15 cards from hey. it. And some of them are shiny. Hey, I Ooh. have an idea for What's this that? advent calendar this year. A what? A Magic the Gathering advent calendar? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, that no. would be awesome! Oh, that would be financially destitution. That would be the best gift you could ever give me. No, it's not. The best gift you ever gave me <laughs> uh, was that amazing... I call it my fight jacket. It the is a jacket. huge, huge jacket, waterproof, and it is fuzzy on the inside. Imagine, it's called a dry robe. It's so Imagine good. like a parka, except the inside of it is really, really soft. Okay, imagine actually, no, if you were to put a puffer jacket on a toddler, like an adult <laughs> puffer jacket on a toddler, that is what you look like in this quote-unquote fight jacket. And it's it is true. true. It's, it's amazing. True. Like, you could sleep inside of it quite happily. Yeah. Just, like, deploy you anywhere in the world, put the hood up, you're cosy and comfy. Yeah. It's amazing. I love it. 
I love that it. was an amazing Christmas gift. It was great. It was the best. And, you know, would be great to take to Sweden if I didn't leave it with my mother. <laughs> yeah, you left that in the north of I'm England. So I mean, that, sad. that serves you right. You shouldn't have left it there. Because we're going on holiday to Sweden. Serves I'm you sorry, right. No, we're you going on a business to trip to Sweden. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. That no. would have come in really handy. Although I don't know how we would have gotten it onto the plane unless you wore it onto the plane. I would have worn it. What are they going to do? Find me? We would have me? been stopped by, like, if you're walking for an airport and your coat is twice the size of you, it's going to look a bit suspicious. What are they going to do? Catch me? I also, don't like, think so. For the last I'm as fast as a whippet. Wee! <laughs> For Louis the last Spence four quote. times we've been for an airport, you've said the word bomb as well. Look, I like, look, I get stopped every time. They always think I have a bomb. I know, always. but why do you always say bomb when we're at an airport? Because I'm shocked. Well, the reason I said it last time was because I was like, oh my God, they usually think I'm a bomb threat. And I just said it aloud without <laughs> thinking, okay? The other times it's because they did think I was a bomb threat. So I was like, why do they think I'm a bomb threat? And I said that out loud. So I don't know, I can't, I can't. And the last I time I did it was because I looked in the mirror and I was like, damn, I look like the bomb. No. And then I got tackled by seven security guards and beaten up. You have never, ever, ever <laughs> been taken aside. I have. I've been taken aside like four times. It used to get stopped all the time. Really? Yeah, it's because of like my back. Do you know the... what's shocking? Yeah. Oh, because of your back? Yeah, because I look, you know, like my shoulders don't, you know, line up perfectly. So oh, it yeah. just looks a bit like, you know, looks a bit shifty. Tom has scoliosis and. Uh, wow. Wow. Way to out me as a scoliosis. And Jeez. you've got. A shoulder that is dislocated at all times, so you look a bit wonky, but it's okay. Yeah. I like it. Shout shout out to all my other skullmates out there. I hope you're having a grand old grand old time. Um, <laughs> that's my joke that you stole yeah, years that's ago. True. Um, but yeah, I get stopped, and what shocks me is that they always swab me for everything, everything, explosive drugs anything literally anything and what they say is they looked at me dead in the face and says you're the kind of girl who looks like someone strapped a bomb to you and i don't know what that means <laughs> it's a good ju good judge of character these security guards to be fair i have have you ever had your luggage broken into because the last time i went to berlin for pdx con i brought a bunch of tea with me like individually oh, packaged well, yorkshire tea packets and they broke into my suitcase because it turns out when you're moving lots of individually packaged dry herbs, uh, it kind of looks a bit like you're doing something a bit dodgy, uh, which was were. a shame. You were I was trying. handing out tea to friends. I was dealing tea to, to Polish people who couldn't access tea and German people and Danish people and Swedish people. They all needed the tea. Okay. Okay. Well. I needed it. Well, next they, time. They paid a premium about... as well. How about next time, i.e. when we go on holiday this time, do not take the tea. I know I, you want it, but you well, don't. Well, I want to take it. I want to take it because the hotel won't have Yorkshire tea, will they? They'll have Swedish tea. And I'm who sure knows what Swedish tea is like. I am sure. You know it what? could taste why don't of we fish drink, for all we know. Why don't we just drink alcohol the whole time? That's what I That's have to say. <laughs> Like, once again, what if they don't have much gin? Because that's basically the only alcoholic drink I have. Uh, we're going to watch CSGO. It will be beer and hot dogs. I don't want to drink beer. I want to yeah, drink do. gin. Beer and I don't want to drink dogs, beer. beer and we're not bro, in Germany. We're not in Germany. But it was so Germany, good. I'll drink beer. Sweden, I would love me some spirits, please. If you're in Sweden... Hook no, me up with some no. tea and gin, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Absolutely not. That is number one way to get poisoned. <laughs> that yeah. is, yeah, that is one, number one way to get poisoned. Poison, Ask stalk, fans for kills. Stuff. No, thank you. Oh, wow. We could Don't get all those things. To, it'd make for a great podcast episode, though. I got poisoned and stabbed and stalked in Stockholm. Oh, my God. <laughs> stabbed and stalked <laughs> in Stockholm is pretty good. Time. I'm not going to lie. It's, you know, there's a lot of alliteration going. People like that. Yeah, please oh. don't. Please. <laughs> really, I please. Won't. I, I won't. Oh. Um, but yeah, love magic, got into the magic. Other than that, I we've done so much recently. <gasps> we, we went have. to go see 
the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter, which yep, is awesome. Yeah, that's right. It's amazing. We, we didn't see Harry Potter in the cinema when it first released in yeah. 2001. So as Ash is a huge fan of Harry Potter, you do love it. You love I a bit love of Ron it. Weasley. Oh, oh. Ron your Weasley. first, your you first know, crush. People talk about like awakenings. What was your... You know, <laughs> your movie. sexual awakening. Sexual awakening. <laughs> Ron Weasley. I literally promised my mother. I was like, Mother, mo I just like that. Mother, I'm going to marry Ron Weasley. And she went, Really? I said, Yeah. Yeah. And she said, What happens if you don't? I said, Life's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. It's like a tiny child. I was like, Ron Weasley is life. And I he still is. love him. Honestly. I genuinely beautiful, but not not He's Rupert beautiful. Grint. There's a difference. It's only Ron. I, I know, and that's the issue because Ron doesn't actually exist in the real world. And However, that's why I have you. <laughs> yeah, that's why I exist. Uh, you know, it's okay to accept yourself as second place, especially second place to someone as beautiful and amazing as Ron Weasley. Yeah. My goodness, what Who a guy. Who is your sexual awakening? In my movies. sexual awakening in movies um, yeah not cartoons because cartoons for me is different like i'd say i don't know because I, was... I watched a lot of different films um during that like developmental stage than you did like whilst you were watching the harry potters i would have been watching like alien that and... was inappropriate what? What's inappropriate about that it's fine i swear you know, sigourney alien... weaver's pretty hot you know she's she nice is. She is. She's an incredible lead. Okay, it's Sigourney Weaver, isn't it? It's not Sigourney Weaver. Is that why I was going to dress up as Sigourney Weaver for Halloween? Oh, no. I, just, I know. It's such a shame you didn't. But hey, you win some, you lose some. No, go on. Who is it then? I don't know. Do you have any idea? I don't know. I, I don't think I do. Like, I didn't really... I don't know. I didn't really watch... Like, name some blockbuster films Was it an anime? It wouldn't have been an anime because I didn't start watching anime until I was in my teens. But if that's what it took, you would you there has to be some kind of no. Yeah, well, you those, remember well those, it. it was sort of online. No, oh, it High was School not. of the Dead. No, it was definitely not that. Um, I don't know. Like name some name some classic films that I might have seen. Classic films. Classic films Wizard I might of have Oz. seen. No, God, I hated that film. Boring. Jeez. Tron. <laughs> Tron. 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 Wow. Yeah, Any... my first love was Tron. No, I love okay. those bikes. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what you watched, so it's really difficult. Any Disney princess, or like, were you I, into once like again, Kim did Possible? Did not have Disney and or... did not have Disney in my household. My, you know, you know, my mum. She what thinks about, Disney like, is just any... weird American stuff. Superheroes? No. 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 Didn't Poison really watch any Ivy stuff. or. Bat lady. Not really. Cat Bat woman. lady. <laughs> Bat lady. <laughs> Bat lady, cat lady. Any of those ladies? Yeah. No, not really. Not really. No? Not a cup of tea. Well, I no. just guess you didn't have... I guess you didn't have a sexual awakening in film. Which is... Sad. I guess not. I guess not. Was Crying. it video games? Was it video... Oh. No, because the video games I were playing were like Rome Total War as well. And I mean, oh, no one's going to... Sport. Whoa, Maybe it was oh, that blob you yeah. created the first time. <gasps> Yeah, but everyone in sport just creates penis monsters. So well, that's not really my cup of tea. I don't know. Like, God, what could it be? I did watch a lot of weird German films. It I don't think I did have one. I don't think you have one, which is kind of sad, but it's okay. Ah, it's just it's just part of childhood, you know. We did have two very different childhoods because I I was definitely raised by, generally raised by my mum when it comes to my upbringing. I She's was lovely raised by the internet. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> she. I wasn't. There's some people who were though. That's yeah, terrifying. That is creepy. Like, geez, imagine your parents just being like, "Here, take an iPad, uh, develop yourself," and then just mm. watching the terrifying child that is created from it. I remember iPods. Oh, God. Where, like, I remember, like, one of my favorite Christmas presents as a kid was an iPod with my name engraved on the back from Oh, Dad. my God. Oh. oh, you fancy child. I remember getting an iPod Touch and watching Charlie the Unicorn on it. I remember watching The Annoying Orange on an oh, iPod Touch. Oh, God. I also remember watching the Yogg's cast, How to Survive the First Night, way back in. What? 
God, that would have been 2012 or 11 or 13. I can't remember. One of those. And yeah, that was, oh, that was amazing. That was like, oh my God, YouTube is amazing. I can't wait to be a YouTuber. Oh Aww. God. It's cute. I always wanted to be a bit of a YouTuber, and then so it, did it I. But my I used to record videos like to release on YouTube, and never did. I never uh, ever did it. Oh, that's really cute. I, my I mom used was like, to, "No, stay away. No." People I used to try and record it. record films with like you know family on like camcorders with like you know <laughs> if you had like a cousin come <laughs> over, you whip out a camcorder and just try and do some filming. We I remember trying to do recreate James Bond. I don't know which Bond, but just James Bond um, <laughs> using <laughs> camcorder, which was a large amount of just running around the garden and falling over. That's which, very you know, different to my videos. <laughs> I imagine yours probably had a bit of structure. No, mine was. <laughs> My dad filmed my every waking moment from the age of like one to ten. To be fair, you were quite an entertaining child. Yeah, but there's a literal video of me. Oh my God. Like, as I got older, I knew it was going to happen, right? So like there's one year where the camera is at the bottom of the stairs ready to capture my expression as I come down the stairs and go around the corner. I know that. For Christmas. So, for Christmas Day. So do you know what I do? At the top of stairs. <laughs> Bloody queen speech. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I go, today is a day where Santa has come and all the presents will be downstairs and the children with their eyes opening with delight, ready to open. Like, I did a whole speech. Oh, God. <laughs> and like, Imagine being the parent you know of the child <laughs> that does a bloody Christmas speech at the top of the stairs <laughs> on Christmas Day. Instead of going down to open the presents, Christmas is a time for the children <laughs> to enjoy. You know, the children <laughs> being me. This is a day about me. <laughs> Do you know what's funny is? I would have carried on, but it gets cut off with my dad going, "Are you going to open the presents, or are you going to carry?" <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to keep recording if you're doing this. And then I was like, oh. okay. And then I just run down the stairs. I can imagine your dad be like, well, they, okay, load of pish this is. Just go open, your, go open your presents, your wee, your wee -in. That's your my wee best Scottish impression. That's He's, wee -ins are small ones, right? That's what they call them. A lass. Them. Like a lass. A, a lass. A lassie. Okay. Or a, lass. a lassie. See, when I, I hear lassie, I think dog. of a dog. <laughs> <laughs> No. But yeah, so we've done loads of things like that. We got, um, w you watched a film you'd never watched recently, right? Jaws. We saw Jaws in the cinema. That was well, big fun. Jaws big and shock. Ghostbusters. And we didn't see that in the cinema, though. We saw no. that at home yeah, with my mum, which was cute because yeah. my mum had never seen Ghostbusters either. I was completely shocked. As somebody, my favourite time of year is autumn. Or fall, if you're American. And that means Halloween. But guess what? No one does it as big as me. Well, maybe in other countries, but not in the UK. So it makes me really sad to see, and maybe not UK, in England. <laughs> other places do do it. but um, Northern Ireland likes to do Halloween. Yeah. Um, and I'd love to go there and do it. But I put all, all the decorations. I have a whole list of horror Halloween films to watch. I get outfits. I plan. I play video games that are Halloween inspired themed. Like I play all the music that is Halloween inspired and themed. Yep, and I it's get the candles out, bath bombs, everything. Everything. It's fantastic. As soon as like September ends, or even before September ended, you were like, it's Halloween time. We're putting up Halloween decorations. I'm going to TK Maxx. I'm buying all the Halloween decorations. It's like, I don't know if TK Maxx will have Halloween decorations. It's like, well, if this one doesn't, I'll just go to the next TK Maxx. <laughs> and oh my God, you're just driving everywhere for Halloween decorations. It was crazy. It was brilliant. But you did it. The yeah. house genuinely looks fantastic. And the kids that were coming around today, oh. they loved it. They, they were the so best. adorable. Some of the children. My favourite child. So I dressed up um, as a to witch. give out sweets as a witch. So I had a, a broom and I had a little dress on with like bats. And I had black lipstick on. And I had my purple hair from when I dyed it. I'm and that sure looks people, quite witchy. Yeah, I'm sure 
kids just think I sprayed it or something. I didn't. Ha <laughs> ha, joke's on you. But um, this little girl came up and she was dressed as a witch, right? And um, I said, do you want chocolate or do you want sweets? And she said, trick or treat, obviously. Uh, and she chose chocolate and that was fine. And then as I closed the door, I hear her running back going, Mommy, she was a witch! <laughs> like, <laughs> she was so excited oh. and it was so for me, cute for me the cutest one was I opened the door and there's like this family there and they have like probably a toddler with them who's you know maybe only in the last few months started walking and he's this little boy and he sees Georgie our corgi behind a baby gate that we had set up so that she wasn't you know knocking over children and he just sees Georgie in the background in the lounge and he's just like doggy 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 and his mom's like yeah it's a doggy and then they take their sweets and then after they've taken their sweets the kid just steps into our house he just <laughs> he's like I'm gonna see that dog so he just comes into the house and the parents like oh my god he just rushes forward <laughs> <laughs> grabs their child and I'm like, oh, it's Sorry. fine. <laughs> Sorry. As he leaves, he's so transfixed on the dog, he bloody walks into the Skoda, the poor kid. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he almost, he almost he fell over, but head. he was fine. He bumped oh. his head. He was in a great big puffer jacket, though, so he would he won't feel it. He was a big, I also, big old little kid. I also loved the child who started with, Hi, I'm weird. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like to dress up. <laughs> and, and that was it. I was like, was hi, it. hi. I, I think it's more he didn't have a costume prepped or he didn't like the costume he had prepped. Because, you know, well, I don't blame you if that's the case. I don't know. Maybe he just didn't... Maybe know. he doesn't like it. Maybe he doesn't like it. Who Maybe knows? Maybe he's not allowed. I don't know. Maybe. But it doesn't matter. He pulled it off. <laughs> In this household, we don't celebrate Halloween. Many people don't. To be don't. fair, that, was, uh, that could have been my upbringing. Like, Literally my parents you. probably... I could have very easily seen my my mum being like, "No, this isn't a German tradition. What the heck? We're not doing it if it isn't a German tradition." Definitely. Jeez. Or if it was, it would be the German equivalent of Halloween, which would be like, on the, the eve of fest tag, the little naughty children have their fingers oh, cut off and boiled <laughs> into soup. And then we drink the finger soup and celebrate the Krinkelschnacker, which comes along <laughs> to steal the hot coals from the fireplace. And then the, e the on the evening, the children must sleep with the door open and leave the slippers out for the lumps of hot coal to be placed into the slippers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you are naughty, the hot coal is put into the bed to burn your feet. Oh, no. Merry Crinkle Smash. And it's like, oh, thank you, it's Germany. It's not Christmas. Please. It's not Christmas. Honestly, <laughs> some of them are so creepy. Some of those... Uh I mean, have you have you seen? I think you, when we were clearing out my house, you must have read some of the weird children books I had. Horrifying. Like, some of them were crazy. So, yeah. Honestly. I, when I was little, I was scared of my name because it began with an A. And A also was for alligator. And that was scary <laughs> enough for me. That's, that's bloody terrifying. <laughs> it Jeez. kept me up at night. Not any of those horrifying things. Yeah, the horrifying stories I had of like, if you suck on your thumb, your thumb will grow out really long and a big man has to come along with huge scissors and cut off your thumb. Or the boy who was so up himself, he always looked up to the sky because he was, you know, pompous and he didn't see where he was going and walked into the ocean and drowned. Or oh. the boy who didn't have table manners and so they the dog took his place at the table and he was he had to eat like not dog. given. No, he wasn't given any food and he starved to death. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, these most of the times way. the children died. It was oh. it was pretty crazy. You know, for someone who sucked their thumb, though, I can tell you one of my thumbs is longer than the other. It's yeah, true. well, you Look, see, still, I never, I see? never sucked my thumb because, dear God, I thought someone was going to come along and cut it off. Do you see where? I by can the way, see. It's slightly longer. Yeah, we are at opposite sides of the house, but we're talking through video camera because we don't actually want to be in the same room. No, <laughs> no. Cause... If we were in the, if we were in the same room, you know, we just the raw energy of our presence yeah. is too much. Look, do you see that? We've I can see. Yeah, we've got one thumb that's slightly longer than the other. That's kind of creepy, but you know, it's fine. Yeah. You, you did that to yourself. It's That's like your my thought. toes. They're all it's like weird. Your toes. You, you got weird toes. Yeah, because they did ballet and they all got smushed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who, who doesn't like a good bit of smushed toe? Mm. <laughs> yeah, it goes there's really well who, with finger there's, soup. There's people who like smushed toe, you know? 
Nope. They'll no, be out there. No, thank you. They'll be out there. No, thank you. Stay away when from When you think Rippos. about it, I've probably reached that level of fame where someone out there wants to see my feet. Someone, someone. out there wants to see anyone's feet. That's true. So. Any feet will do. As the Any age old song will goes. Do. Will do. I was thinking that song. <laughs> We're so musical in, oh my in God. this house. So. For our beautiful anniversary, should we move on to the part where we judge other people, but Hell ourselves yeah. this time yeah, to yeah, tell yeah, people yeah. how we it works? Do. So the way we're going to have a few segments in the podcast, of course, we're going to talk about what we've been up to in the week. We're also going to talk about just general life, maybe a bit of like our past as and when it comes up, like my terrifying witch childhood or your wonderful Disney indoctrination program. Yeah. Um, now, also towards maybe the end of the podcast or wherever we're going to be <laughs> taking your relationship problems probably you know a romantic relationship we'd hope and maybe we're going to be solving them maybe not we will be solving them you may not like the answers but the answers will at least solve the problem you've come to us with whether it's feasible or not is not up to us okay you got a problem we're going to solve it and it's going to be amazing the because we don't solve. have any problems of no. course, we never had a problem, ever. Anyway, <laughs> from this random, random person, I don't know who they random are, person. I don't know whose issue it could be. I've random got this submission? letter in my palm of my hand, okay? Okay, who's, who's this first problem from? Anonymous. Anonymous, okay. Uh, it says, Submitted by Anonymous. It says, I don't know why my fiancé thinks it's appropriate to put bowls on top of each other in the dishwasher. Because how wow. could they get clean? Please help me, what do I do? Okay, um, you know, I've personally never run into this problem um, because when I load the dishwasher, it's of course perfectly fine to put bowls on top of each other. Everyone knows that the water's gonna move them apart. They're gonna clean. It's However, not. <laughs> However, this anonymous uh, entry person obviously doesn't like the dishwasher being done that way. Um, so there's a couple of solutions I'm thinking off the top of my head here. Uh, but okay. I'd like to know actually how you'd approach this. How would you fix the dishwasher conundrum? Because evidently this is a source of contention. <sighs> needs to be fixed for the relationship to function. How are we fixing the dishwasher? Pull it out of the the whole wall. I'm done. I'm done with it. Either do, just okay. This get feels rid of like it. the Reddit, the Reddit approach, whereby when you when you reach confrontation, you divorce, you go to the gym, and then you no, block people. You don't divorce. No, no, no. You no, get rid of the divorce. dish. No, you got a problem. Get rid of it. <laughs> just okay, choke away the dishwasher. Okay. Okay. That's a problem because then how are you going to wash your plates? The person who was putting the bowls wrong should do it. Okay, no, you can't have that because then that's that's someone. <laughs> Most people don't enjoy washing the plates, and when you put all the workload on that, you're going to create a strain in the relationship. So I've got my solution. Fine. Yeah, wash my yours. solution. You can keep the dishwasher, but instead, I've been really wanting one of these, so I'm going to suggest it. Power washer. Take your bowls and plates outside. <laughs> Plug in a power washer, bloody power wash your plates. They'll be really clean, really, really clean. What, if so you, you want to do it indoors, just point the power washer into the washing, well, the, the washing machine. <laughs> It'll be fine, probably. Just wash them in there, then put it on a little spin cycle. Doesn't matter if the balls were touching, bloody pressure washer will have cleaned it, no problem. Okay, well, I have a better solution. Okay, what's your better solution? Be really, really rich and buy new china every time you eat. Wow, now that is a decadent lifestyle where you're just buying a new plate for every meal. I think, you know, that is definitely the Jeff Bezos And it cannot method. be cardboard because I hit... No, I genuinely be heard this is an American thing. No, I someone, someone tell me. Is this an American thing? Because somebody told me this was an American thing and an American told me this was an American thing. Okay. They said it's normal slash casual like if you're at a party or like some people just do it when they're a student to just have okay. paper plates and no yeah no. yeah no. and they don't have real plates and they throw them oh away. my god jeez like, okay is this real what the hell 
if that's real, we need to retake over America and sort those wrong ones out because What's that is going wrong. on. Even at a what party the in the UK, sure, sometimes you might have party plates for little children or whatever. Yeah, but normally give, you've you got, get a proper plate. You've you got get a proper plate. You get like we've got like hors d'oeuvre holders. Do you know like big <laughs> bowls and and stuff? <laughs> Decadence. <laughs> Americans don't even know what an hors d'oeuvre holder is. Jeez. <laughs> what about those little pots that you hold the olives in? What about that? Uh, Do you have we them? just put it right next to gun stand where we keep shotgun cartridges next to our paper plates and drink why mountain are you dew that in, an... in gallons. Oh, I was wondering why That's you were saying it in an I... English voice. It was very confusing. Look, my accents, I, you, I can't control them. You they... gotta put it next to the guns where all the, the olives guns. live. The oh, olive. they don't goodness. have they don't have olives in America. What do they have? That's right. We'll put the, just starch, we'll just cornstarch shaped like bacon olives. Bacon back rashers next to the no. guns and next oh, to my God, I can feel my place. arteries closing. Jeez. By the way, oh. hope that was a decent accent. Probably not. That was fine. That was fine. They'll love it. Those Americans. Sorry you know, if be fine I offended you. Sorry. <laughs> I think we've probably offended them with the accusations of paper plates enough. No, somebody, but that's what somebody did tell me, and they are American. So that's if it is crazy. true, tell me. If it is not, tell me. You know, I need to know. But if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be buying paper, paper plates paper every plates. day, just make them enam enamel, or start a pottery shop not and enamel. make your own. Enamel is not what you make a plate from. Is it it's not? China. China. Okay. Why not make your own China plates then? Just get a pottery kitchen set up next to your real no, kitchen. No, that's too much. Just buy that's them. Too much? Just be okay. rich. Just, just be buy rich. the plate. You know that's, that's true. Answer. If you're if you're having a problem with dishwashers, just buy a buy just a be rich. buy new plates. Get yourself a butler or a housekeeper. Whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. If you need it, they'll wash your plates for you. And if they do a bad job of it, instead of getting a new fire boyfriend them. or girlfriend, uh. you just fire them. That's how relationships get can work. I'm get rich. out of here. Get out of here. I got money Jeez. bags. Got money. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah, there you go. That's, that's how you one do way. It. Fixed. That's how to solve the dishwasher conundrum. Your relationship is now fixed. I hope you're bloody happy. I know I am. Um, so, is there another problem submitted by an anonymous person? Oh, I think that one's with you, actually. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, sure. Let me. Oh, yeah, I got a, got a note here. <clears throat> okay, rootle through those notes. My non-disclosed uh, fiance um, has a gigantic problem with the mixing of sweet and savory sauces in the gigantic fridge that we own. This shouldn't be a problem, and it's causing an absolute mess. Whereby we're getting rid of sauces because they don't fit onto the gigantic shelves in the shapes they're in. How do you think we solve that one, um, my fiance? Get rid of the rubbish sauce that's in there that nobody <laughs> likes and uses. Like, just bin it. Get rid of it. Don't let that it seems, out in the house. That seems wasteful because sauces are nice. I like sauces. Give Do them you? to a family member if you don't want to bin them. I'm sorry. When was the last time you went up to a family member and were like, oh, would you like a bit of Hellman's mayonnaise? Mayonnaise is not allowed in this household, so no. Oh. Uh, that's true. We don't. Uh, you I'm don't like really mayonnaise. scared of mayonnaise. I'm scared of many sauces. I've lived without mayonnaise through most of my life now for the last six years, and it's a bit of a shame. Sometimes when I'm away, oh, come on. I'll have a bit of mayo on something. Mayo is I a like problem. It. Look, I have an actual. We'll just say this really quick. I have an actual eating disorder, not body <laughs> related, mind related. It is called ARFID, Avoidant Food Restrictive Disorder. This is a terms and conditions. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, it means so it's that a way I'm... of saying you hate mayo and a lot of other things. Yeah, but it is an actual problem. I'm trying to fix it. Is it is a genuine problem. I have a it's doctor. Fine. They try. I can, I can live without mayo. You know. But why can't the... you live without all the other rubbish sauces? And why can't we sort the sauce into so nice and not nice? I, you look, we have a lot of sauces because the sauces are tasty. They go with a lot of things, you know. Sometimes you got want a bit of truffle and artichoke on your on your pasta sauce. Got to have it in there. That's got to go in the savory section. I understand. What I don't yeah. understand is why we have about fifty different types of jam. Because jam, I only have jam maybe four times a year. Why do we need that many jams? Because in the winter. I have jam on toast. Do you? When yeah. was the last time you had jam on toast? Last winter. 
And also... We can't be having jam once every 12 months. Also, That's Get rid of the jams. No. More savoury uh, uh, sauces. Uh, 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 uh. Get it wouldn't rid matter. of the jams. You know, jams. the problem is you have too many savoury sauces. And this jam is the- gate. Sorry. Sorry, what do you mean I have too many savoury sauces? This is from an anonymous person. <laughs> <laughs> this anonymous person has too many savoury sauces. And you know what? Well, That's I think the, the other partner because, in the no, 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 anonymous listen. relationship has too many jams. Well, does it matter? Because the the sweet wouldn't mix with the savoury anyway. So is the problem with the savoury or the sweet? The sweet has enough space. The savoury is the problem. So it's the savoury person's problem. Uh, cha, cha. It's to do with the sizes of the jars. If they were mixed, they would both fit. But because some jars are wide and some jars are tall, okay. they need to be mingled. I, I believe have... the sauces should be mingled. I have a solution. What's that? get sponsored by Red Bull, this random mm-hmm. person. This random person should be sponsored by Red Bull. Who somehow has a sponsor to Red Bull. Okay, or and the solution? maybe can get one. And get one of those mini fridges and put all okay. your shitty sauce in there, <laughs> away from me. <laughs> so this anonymous person should probably start up a YouTube channel, get about 2.6 million subscribers, petition Red Bull for a sponsorship, get the mini fridge from the sponsorship and fill it with savory sauces away from me yep or just well, get a mini fridge i mean you don't have to do the red bull <laughs> it has to be the red bull one. Oh my <laughs> god well there we go. i think we have solved it though that does do feel you like agree? a solution do you have a different I agree. solution, That's a solution. Or is that perfect no i think i think that is a perfect solution i will i will agree with that although when it comes to the first problem if you believe pressure washing your dishes or buying new dishes every time go into wherever twitter comment section decide which is the best solution to the problem yeah personally tell us. Pressure washers are fun. I think they're really fun. Yes, they might shatter the plates, but it's more entertaining that way. I think personal butler is the winner. Just saying. Nah, I don't know. Just, okay, and I fine. also think, clearly, because it's the only solution we've come up with for the second one, someone should get a mini fridge. Someone should get a mini fridge. Okay, well, if you have another solution, maybe. You know, yeah. you could try and also, solve it. If you Yours guys want to communicate with us the way we're communicating with each other and you have other solutions, get in touch. We have social medias and emails. Would you like me to look up what they're called now? You do can. They'll do probably do be do. in the description of whatever you're listening via. Maybe YouTube. Maybe Audible. I don't know. Audible? Actually, that's Audible audiobooks. Not where Welcome to chapter one of... The weekly domestic podcast narrated by David Attenborough. Ooh, Here we see. Cool. No, Here we so. see Ashley <coughs> wheezing <Coughing>. to death <laughs> on a cold. If you want to find us, find us at, at Domestic Weekly on Twitter with the name The Weekly Domestic or Gmail, The Weekly Domestic at gmail.com. Amazing. And on YouTube. That's right. And maybe other places. Who knows? Who but yeah, knows? Feel free Look. to send us your relationship problems via maybe a comment section Email or Twitter. Us. We'll find it. We'll get you we'll get your problems and we'll you bloody find. solve them. We'll, we'll solve, solve your them problems. so well you'll feel happy for the rest of your life. And It'll make be sure to tune in to our next one where we went to Sweden. We'll talk it's about be our great. new experiences in Sweden, which will be fun. Yeah. This episode might even come out before we get into Sweden. We don't know. And if that's the case, give us free, amazing... I said give us free. No, don't give us give free us stuff. Free oh, stuff. Give, us, give us free stuff. No, um, give us like suggestions of what we should get up to in, in Stockholm. Yeah. I, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of fun stuff out there that we want to try. We're there for a week, so we've got a long time. A lot of yeah. fun stuff to try out. So, yeah. Also. Also. Upvote oh, us, like us. Do All of that of stuff. You things. legally have to. Legally, legally have to. You've got to give it five stars and an updo. Whatever yeah. it takes. T- tell we will us be, we're the best. We will be uh, the best goddamn podcast in the UK. We will be. We are. Fuck we're the all the best other ones. Podcast. Literally. Screw you, Triforce. Yeah, this we're is going to be the best. We're the only ones with the Whoa. real advice. Yeah. Triforce mm. isn't English. It's the they best. They are Canadian. Come on, we're English. Yeah. Woo! Bam. We're the best. Now, maybe be the best. not the English thing, but... We're definitely the best podcast. <laughs> We're definitely the best. Definitely, yeah. I, now. You know, England sucks, but the United Kingdom's quite cool. So we could be the best of the United Kingdom. And Why then don't we maybe, just say best ever? 
best ever. Screw it. Yeah, it will be the best ever, ever. podcast. Best Tune ever in next podcast. Week. Best ever podcast. Best ever okay, podcast. Okay, enough. Enough. Right. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say goodbye to them. <laughs>